Welcome to the tutorial for embedding the voice sound player on Squarespace. We're going to convert our test site from this to this. Here's how. First we're using Squarespace 7, and the mechanics may be a bit different from your version, but the approach is exactly the same. Voice sound will replace our current audio player, so let's delete it. To do this, click the black panel's edit button, then click the audio player panel and press delete and confirm. Okay, now it's time for the embedding code. We'll go back to Voice Sam's pop-up panel that contains the code, click anywhere inside the gray box and press Control A on a PC or Command A on a Mac. This selects all the text within the gray box. Be sure that you've only selected the text inside the gray box. Now that the text is selected, let's copy it into our clipboard with Control C on a PC or Command C on a Mac. Now the code is ready to be pasted into our Squarespace page. So let's go back to Squarespace and click on an insert point. We'll choose this one, which displays Squarespace's block menu. Now look for a block menu item entitled Code and click it. That presents the Edit Code panel. You may be tempted to change this drop-down item in the upper right to JavaScript, but we need it to remain as HTML. Let's replace the default Hello World text with our embedding code from VoiceSAM. There. Now with Squarespace, there's one small change we'll need to make to our embedding code. Scroll up a bit in the code and look for a line that ends in weblinking.aspx. It's right here. Squarespace requires a secure connection back to the VoiceSAM servers. So no problem. We'll simply make a change at the beginning of this line so it reads HTTPS. Perfect. Let's save the edit code panel. Our code is ready to display the player when we save the page. But let's first reposition the player block so that it's located to the right of our page's text, right here. Now we save the page block and see how it looks by refreshing the page. The voice sound player plays perfectly and you sound great. Now it's just a matter of moving the player to suit your needs and finally publishing the page so producers can play all your demos and send in those bookings.